Hello, everybody, and welcome to Jay Smith Takes a Quick Look at Dog Sled Saga. Dog Sled Saga is developed by Dan Fitzgerald and Lisa Bromiel. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. But this is a game that is currently on Kickstarter for limited time now. Uh, it was successfully Kickstarted a while ago, and I think it was successfully Kickstarted after six days. Having said that, I think that there's only five days left to kind of continue on and help these uh, these developers get to um, some of the stretch goals, what I think will be pretty amazing when, if they win or slash if they get there. But anyways, Dog Sled Saga is obviously about dog sleds and the races they participate in. But further from that, the game includes several traits that kind of piqued my interest and made me want to like delve in you know, a little bit deeper and make me want to do this whole quick look at. Um, so things such as randomized levels and events, um, the, not all, not two races are going to be the same. They're going to be kind of be generated as they go along, and um, there's going to be different characteristics that each of the dogs have. So outside of the races themselves, there's kind of like a meta game. So after a race ends, you'll have to kind of manage your items, manage your inventory, manage you know how well your dogs kind of the you know manage their attitudes, uh, and that's all going to be kind of reflected on how well you. How, how well you do in the races and how well you treat your dogs during the races. So it's kind of like an interesting thing and I think that's going to really catch on, at least I, I, I hope it does. So right now I kind of want to give you a glimpse of what the game has so far and this is still in a, in a beta or possibly even an alpha stage right now. But uh, what it has is a, is a racing mode but also kind of like a team editor but it's kind of... Um, on the the it needs more development kind of side of things but it's it's basic so let's check out the team editor for now so here's my first dog his name is flying bun i thought that'd be appropriate so um check out the the animation and the pixelated art style and so if you know me i'm not a, the biggest fan of pixelated art style unless there's a lot of you know um care and a lot of detail that is put into it and this is a perfect example. And so while I'm looking at this dog, I see the, the great running animations. When I'm actually in the race, you're going to be able to see it's kind of fatigued animations and the smooth transition going from like this full sprint down to kind of like a, uh, a hop skip and like a kind of like a jump of like the tired dog. So it's pretty interesting to see. Um, next up, we have Silly Face, um, which I don't know why Silly Face is a dog name that came to me, but I think... I think it's pretty like hey come here come here silly face i want to give you uh give you a treat and then finally we have uh, meatloaf in his bright blue collar or harness so what i'm what the premise is is basically for now is the starter race and there's a few kind of game modes that go into each race and so right now we can see that the length on uh, the restocks the the foliage and even as we go down there's going to be gusts of wind uh, so the restocks are basically the treats that I'm going to be throwing the dogs to kind of rejuvenate them after they start to get fatigued foliage is trees that I will be passing and if I throw a treat and it hits a tree it'll bounce back obviously and fall into the dirt or if the by some stroke of luck it could fall into one of the other dogs' mouths and gusts of wind just kind of take a longer time for the tree to actually get to the dog so let's start start out with uh, with the first one here um, just actually start to get into some gameplay it's been three minutes already so um, press and hold uh, to aim and release the throw so uh, success but while aiming I can cancel that by pressing C uh, so I'll demonstrate that right there keep your dogs fed so they can run at full speed so as you can see here um, when the dogs start getting tired you're gonna see the 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 heat and the heat of their mouths kind of you know gusting out that, that, that their breath uh, but when they start doing that when you kind of let them go from there they're gonna be a little bit more fatigued so they're not gonna be in this full sprint they're gonna start slowing down and I'll demonstrate that right now but just not feeding them I know that's a really rude thing to do and I wouldn't normally normally you know do that but uh, if you see in the back uh, what is it poo something I don't remember um, but meatloaf is starting to slow down and and happy face up there is slowing down as well so let's feed him um, but yeah that that kind of slow descent into fatigued I really really like that and I, I love the art style like the trees in the background you can see me passing and trying to catch up to some of the dog sled racers in the back um, you know when I see you know the dog sled racers you know in front of me and I obviously get past them 
it's going to change, you know, my my position up there. But it's really kind of neat to see that, that kind of like they're a, a far perspective. It'd be kind of neat if they kind of work a little bit closer, but I, I still, you know, that that's a minor concern of just, you know, maybe they maybe they did try that and maybe it didn't look as well. Regardless, let's go back to the main menu. Let's find another race to, to go through. For this one, uh, we'll go to uh, Bluster, and so this is going to be the introduction of Gusts of Wind. There's going to be a moderate race length. Restocks are going to be generous, so I shouldn't have too much of a problem refilling my stores to throw to the, the dogs. And I'm also going to have to be mildly worried about the foliage, although it's thin, so I'm not going to expect too many trees to get in the way. Kind of really... Um, partnering with the art style is if you can hear this the uh, the music in the background and I really have enjoyed that so far um, you know they're kind of melodic loops that kind of keep going through it's powering you it's kind of I don't know it, it, it's I think it's like a really really good fit for for the kind of gameplay that that we're observing here so as you can see I missed that last that last treat for my dog there, which is a little bit unfortunate, so I gotta had to refeed him, and I'm missing all the time. the The best place to aim that I found is kind of right in the back, on like on their harness between their harness and basically their neck and head area. Um, I've had like the most success getting. Oh come on, don't. Okay, so the gust of wind was really kind of screwing me up there. I almost hit that tree, which is which would be really unfortunate. But if even if I did hit that tree, there's a chance. Um, that it w the treat would have bounced back into either the second place dog or the uh, the third place dog. So one of the cool things about this game is some of the stretch goals that um, I'm hoping that the game developers can get to. Um, so right now they their their first asking price was six thousand. Um, so after six thousand, uh, at twelve thousand there would be a trek mode in which you could be traveling day by day, going long distances, not really having to worry about uh, a race or anything, but just trying to get from point A to point B as successfully as possible. Um, I, would, I kind of want to hope that it would be kind of like an Oregon Trail or Oregon Trail or um, maybe not so much Super Wagon Adventure, Super Amazing Wagon Adventure, excuse me. Um, but something like that, you can kind of you know manage a, a traveling system and you'd have your dogs to kind of support you along the way. I think that'd be really, really neat. Um, after that, they're at uh, 14,000, there is a breeding for dog skill combo. So each dog will have kind of unique characteristics. And so while you're going on your adventure, your dogs will mate and have pups. And each characteristic that would be unique, you'd have a dominant trait, and that would kind of go into the pups themselves. And I think that would be really, really interesting. Um, there's also going to be a multiplayer aspect of this game as well. Um, so you and your team from Saga Mode face off against other players, um, make your mark on the leaderboards, and even earn some money to kind of bring back to your own Saga and your own single player game as well. So I'm not too sure if there's an actual um, competitive racing mode. I crossing my fingers, I think it'd be pretty bomb to, you know, race against like Northern Lion or, or Nick or someone um, like, you know, Panda Gamer or Homewrecker um, in real time. But even leaderboards, I would, you know, expect to kick their asses anyways. So I digress, I suppose. Um, I'll go back to the main menu. Uh, let's try out one last race before I kind of uh, give this video an end. This is a race I haven't played yet, um, so I haven't, I don't have a best time. I have a best time as first for all of these. The hardest one I did so far was what was it length long and uh yeah the rationing one restocks were adequate so um i basically only had like one chance to get the dogs um like two rounds of food before the next kind of stock kind of came to me um so basically like you had to get perfect on all of them to kind of get first place which is kind of hard but i loved it um so this is going to be this is as tough the length is moderate restocks are scarce so that's going to present me kind of a problem and foliage is present gust sporadic so we'll see how well i do here i'll give it one shot um not really expecting first place but if i happen to get that i'll be pleasantly surprised so i got some nice tunes going on in the background got my dogs are starting to get tired try to throw it up to the first one. I like throwing to the dog in front first, kind of making it easier to get to the dogs in the back after that. And, um, you know, I feel if I throw to the dog up front first, oh, the, I don't even remember seeing a thing for a tree warning there, but um, maybe I just missed that or maybe it didn't give it to me at all. Who knows? 
I have one more chance to get these up here before I expect the next chance to get some more rationing in. I'm gonna wait for the dog in the back to show a little bit more fatigue. Here we go. Don't wanna hit the tree, so I guess I'm just gonna hope and pray that I come across here as the treats again. Um, so again, I really want to, you know, emphasize that this is currently in beta form, and so although there isn't any post-race um, tinkering that you can do with your team outside of you know their their physical characteristics or not physical characteristics, they, the the cosmetic characteristics of their collar and their name, um, in the full game you're going to be able to you know kind of have that, and so it's going to be less arcadey, um, not quite more sim, but definitely more along that those those same veins, which I'm really really looking forward to. Um, I believe the Kickstarter ends on May 25th, so if you have a chance between now and then, definitely check that out if you see this being, you know, as a game that you'd uh, be interested in supporting. Um, as I just get first place, hell yeah, time 107.2, I'm the greatest, first try, blind run, J. Smith wins. Um, so again, I'll link the, the Kickstarter in the game description, um, the, just want to say, I want to say J. Smith gives this game the thumbs up right now. Check it out. Um, you know, help this game get to where it could be. I, I hope that you guys do that. The art and the sound. Love it. Great pixel art. Great gameplay. And um, there's just there, there's a lot that this game I feel can do for uh, you know a lot of a lot of fun. There's just uh, yeah, it, it's <laughs> I'm just at a loss for words, I suppose. So anyways, I'm gonna head back to the main menu. Um, but thank you guys very much for checking this out um, go support it um, if you like what you see definitely go do that um, if you want to see more of this let me know uh, and maybe I'll do like some streams of it but definitely follow me on Twitter um, it's jsmith uh, oti do uh, do the twitch followings as well as twitch.tv slash jsmith oti I feel okay um, I'm out of my element right now. I just got back from vacation, so hopefully this video wasn't too poor. I don't mean it, but I do want to say that it's awesome. Um, yeah, I took a week off, and this is my first time um, doing some actual recording. I feel like I've been taking a lot of time off lately, but I don't mean it. Don't mean it. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you. Take care, and I will see you next time. Later.